What's up everybody, my name is Blaze Tiger, back with another video, and we have the, <clears throat> excuse me, the February 1st maintenance update, uh, up maintenance notice. Um, so let's take a look and see what's coming this week. <gasps> Yo, are you serious? This is how they get you, bro. This is how they get you right here. They figured... No one's going to summon on her banner because uh, the one is coming out. So how do you make this banner even better? You put these two great units on there. Oh, man. All right, let's, 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 let's go through everything and see here. Um, guaranteed Knight of, Knight of Frost Guardian Jericho on step 10. She's a red unit. Uh, we went over her last week. And then we're getting this guy for free. Halloween. Queen of Explosion Roxy. Uh, Halloween. Gamer Shin. Um, as stated on the 127 dev notes, we will be including unreleased heroes in the new banners. Therefore, we will be including these two guys. These, these two. Um... Oh, Gothor will also be on there. Green Gothor will also be on there. Um, able to acquire and step up draw event. You are guaranteed to get uh, Knight of Frost Guardian Jericho on every 10 step. You are guaranteed to get Halloween Queen of Explosion Roxy if you accumulate 100 loyalty points. You are guaranteed to get Halloween Gamer Shin if you accumulate 200 loyalty points. You can get Disaster Ofar King for free as clear rewards in the giant. Okay. <clears throat> skill if you summon on the banner right not saying that you should if you summon on a banner you're guaranteed to get the units right you'll get her at step 10 you'll get him for free you'll get her at 100 loyalty points you'll get him at 200 loyalty points that's good but man they really yeah they really they really made it hard <laughs> they really really made it hard um these guys are really good these two are very very good and she's not real she's not that bad uh she's okay she's all right but it pains me to say this skip skip the banner i know these two are really good characters i know that but they will be back and they will be on the halloween um celebration banners uh, since they are released now, they could come back for other um, holiday banners, like, I don't know, like uh, Valentine's Day, stuff like that. Um, just so, yeah, just don't do it. it. This is a hard, this is a hard skip for me personally. This is a hard skip because I'm going to do like you guys. I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip um, because after this banner here next week is... Um, according to the notes, next week shouldn't be a banner at all. And then the week after that should be the anniversary. So I'm going to be doing a live stream and I'm going to have a ton of stones, right? For the one Escanor. You guys know how I do. Uh, when I, when I'm going for a main unit, I'm going for a main unit and I'm going to be buying a crap ton of stones on the 15th, tickets, all of that. So all the stones that I have now, plus all the stones I'm going to buy with the tickets, I'm going to add it all up together for the live stream. Um, so I'm just, ah, oh man, this is a hard one. But let's let's move on. So we have the Hog Pass that's going to be here. He will be the free unit for the Hog Pass. Cool. Um, then you got some stuff coming, like the Hero Enhancement, Salvage, all that stuff. New bundles, power ups, code, da 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 da. Nighthood boss. Um, she looks like she's getting buffs. So that's good. Because if you guys have been playing Grand Cross for a while, Jericho units just have a hard time critting. I don't know what it is, but they have a very hard time critting. So um, buffing her is helpful. Um, what am I doing here? Okay, Cam Camilla Disaster Battle Play Event, chance to get SSR Evo Pendants. Cool. Oh, wow, that's a nice costume. <laughs> okay, let's see. So this obviously will be after the update. 
Play Camilla Dust the Battle and acquire Camilla along with the Priestess of Sky God costume set. Evolve Camilla to UR level 60. Also equip the Priestess of Sky God's costume that can be obtained from Disaster Battle Exchange Shop. Uh, upload your Camilla to relevant event board. Reward would be blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah, there's that. Um, let's take a quick look at... She's busted. <laughs> uh, let's take a quick look at um, Halloween Roxy and Halloween Chef, right? Green unit, human, uh, chain smash. Inflicts damage equal to 240% of attack on one enemy. Rank 2, cancel stance on enemy and inflicts damage up to 300%. Rank 3, damage goes up to 500%. Um, surprise Jack or Lantern, uh, second skill. Inflicts charge damage equal to 130%. Sorry, 130% to all enemies. Inflicts charge damage equal to 195% of attack on all enemies. Uh, rank 3 damage goes up to 325%. Ultimate is the same. Um, passive is, isn't it with me. Increases, uh, increases the attack related stats of this hero in battle by 50% for each ally on the, of the same race. So... You put her on an all-human team. I mean, she's going to be... She's good regardless, but still, like, if you put her on an all-human team to really proc her passive, she's busted, bro. Like, this right here, it, it's... it's Yo, it does ridiculous damage, bro. Like, when you look at her stats, pair is 75%. Uh, not high crit chance, but she does a lot of damage. Let's look at her base stats. She, she does a lot, man. Super Awakening... She's she's really good. She's this, that's why it's like, oh man, why they had to drop her of all, drop these two of all people right now. Um, let's look at Shen, red unit, human race, uh, hero laser inflicts spike damage equal to 160 percent of attack on one enemy. Um, rank two, the bad damage goes up to 240 percent. Rank three goes up to 400 percent. Smile Jack or Lantern, rank one. It inflicts damage equal to 120% of attack on all enemies. Rank 2, um, damage stays at 120%, um, but allows the user allows the use of only rank 1 skills for one turn. And then damage goes up to 180%, allows the use of only rank 1 skills for two turns. Uh, super attack is the same. Um, passive, target set. Attacking enemy with debuff will result in a critical strike. So, like, again, like I said, <laughs> these two units are amazing, bro. Like, they're really, really good. Um, so, it, it's, it's, it's hard for me to tell you guys to skip. It's really, really hard for me to tell you guys to skip. But then you got to think about it in the bigger picture. The one Eskinor is much better, right? It's, it's more bang for your buck. So... Will it be a total big loss if you skip this banner and don't get these two? No, it won't. Because again, they're um, they are seasonal units, and they'll be seasonal banners a lot throughout the years. Again, Valentine's Day um, is coming up. They will most likely be on that banner. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, I forgot what day that is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and then Halloween, all the, you know, all the other extra stuff. There will be times to get these guys again. She will, I believe, she goes to the general pool afterwards, so you'll always get a chance to get her. So, you know, again, just don't, don't, don't even waste your time. And I know Green Gother. I know a lot of people are still trying to get, you know, Green Gother six six, trying to get a copy of Green Gother. So I, uh, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a big hit. It's not, well, not a big hit, but it's a it's a hit. It's a small hit, but it's okay because you will. Be very you'll be much happier when you have enough stones to go two or three rotations on the one Eskinor banner to get him so um that's all i have for this one guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like subscribe and i will catch you guys later